Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Bogey Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizum underscore Bogey Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This one is from One Day Saving. I have all of their information in the description box down below, along with the product details and the coupon code in case you need to go shopping. We have a couple accessories, two diamond, excuse me, two cross stitches, and a diamond painting for the very end. So if you don't want to watch the diamond painting, um, you can just skip out when I get done with all the cross stitch stuff. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First things first, we have an accessory. We have this crane uh, scissors. They're like a rainbow color, which is super cool. And I always need new snips. I lose them everywhere. I, I swear, it's like the socks in the dryer where you put socks in the dryer and you come out with just one instead of like five. I don't know. I, I'm constantly losing my snips. So I'm super excited to try these out. Um, so there's that. And I'm gonna go ahead and save the other accessory for last as well because it's the diamond painting accessory. So let's go ahead and dive right into the next cross stitch. So I have Noelle um, as a Joy Sunday stamped kit and I decided we're gonna get all of them. So here's winter. I will take out the package and then show you the full effect. So this is a 14 count stamped kit. And this one is winter. Super pretty. I love all of the colors on this one. So the golds, then blues and yellows. Very, very pretty. So with Joy Sunday, the, um, the symbols on the paper pattern are different than the symbols on the actual pattern, like canvas pattern. So keep that in mind if you're getting a Joy Sunday. So here is the first two pages and then the second two pages. Isn't that dress beautiful? Look at the details on the dress. So excited. So my first one, Noelle, it had um, metallic threads, beading, cross stitch and half, a full cross and half cross. This one has 30 colors of full stitch or full cross. One, two, three, four colors of three quarter stitch and back stitching, but it doesn't have any beads. So I'm not sure how I feel about that because I know these uh, fancy ladies, um, specifically these, this series normally has a lot of beading. So we'll see. Um, my stitching friend, Ma, <laughs> my stitching friend, Emma, uh, just got all these as uh, counted, um, like the actual, <clears throat> not Joy Sunday, but like the actual pattern. Um, and she's kidding them up with beads and stuff. So I'll be curious to see if mine matches her or vice versa, or like how different they're going to be. Okay, next up we have the canvas. Now I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan of Joy Sunday kits and that's because the fabric is too starched and the, the um, stamping is different than the paper pattern which confuses the heck out of me all the time. Um, however, the feeling this canvas, um, the stamped kit, it feels really nice. So <laughs> I might need to work on her. Uh, so here is the um, the canvas pattern. Again, these symbols are completely different than what is on the paper chart. So all of the symbols are down here. And is it this way? No, and, and down here. So they're different symbols than what is on the the paper, which like I said, to me is really confusing. I know you could take a picture of it, but you could just toss it aside and not use it, or you could just use a paper pattern. But for, for me, I prefer everything just to be the same. Like I want stitch because it's, it's easier for my brain. I don't know, it's just easier if everything's the same, so. But this canvas feels really nice, so I'm definitely gonna have to get her started. And it's winter right now, although it's almost the end of winter, and it's almost spring, so I really need to get going on her, so. Here she is. <clears throat> the stamping is really good. It always is with the Joy Sunday. Um, it's a little bit smaller because it's a 14 count and I'm used to 11 count, but 
the fabric surged and everything looks beautiful so all right looks like we got two two cards and not a lot of floss so we have a lot of colors but we don't have a ton of the colors so um, there's just like one strand of a lot of the colors so we'll see how that goes but let me show you one card at a time so here's these first we do have some metallic um, working on my Noel I got a lot of advice and I decided to just do one strand of the metallic threads and a shorter strand and it worked out great so So there's those colors and then these are pretty much all the colors of the rainbow we have some bluish grays purples oh I love all these ones but do you see what I mean there's just like one strand of like all of these so yeah and the floss is super soft minus the metallic thread because <laughs> The thread is never soft. And these also come with two needles, but they're the gold tip needles. And I'm not a big fan. Um, the gold tip needles, they're really hard to thread for me, and they're not as smooth on the fabric. So we'll have to probably exchange those. So there is the first unboxing. All right, crinkling. All right, next up, I'm on a roll. <laughs> we have another watercolor girl. I decided I didn't have enough. So there she is. Very pretty. She's like gazing on the stars, but her hair is floating. Oh, I almost showed you guys the floss. Gotta save that for last. <clears throat> All right, this one. Is a 42 by 50, not a 40 by 50, but 42. Um, similar symbols, we have a red square and a red square and a yellow box. Those are always really hard to see the difference on. Um, I don't see anything else that's gonna be too crazy. But we have the uh, key on the thread card, the symbol on the pattern, the DMC color, and the color on the, um, or the color of the floss that you're supposed to be stitching. I'm kind of out of frame, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Um, so like th these patterns, this stamping is exactly the same as the canvas. So they're easier to see. I don't know why they started printing these really big pictures on here, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the giant margins. I'm loving the giant picture, the huge key. This is amazing. Okay. Um, stamping is awesome. All of the purples and blacks and blues are all standing out. Oh, this one's gonna be so much fun because the stamping is so nice. This is a very stiff canvas though. Um, not surge, but the margins are huge. Um, but I mean, this will soften over time, so it's not the biggest deal, but the stamping is great. Look at that. It's so dark and wonderful. All right. So again, this key matches the key on the paper pattern. And here is your sim your picture, your pattern picture. And it looks like they gave us two of the good needles. They're like a size, um, uh, this is like a size, maybe a 20 or a 22 tapestry needle. And again, they're not the gold tips. They're the regular tips. So they're the good ones. I'm gonna put it back in the canvas so I don't lose them. There we go. Anyway, uh, stamping is really good on this. And then we have my favorite part, the floss. 
And we have very pretty colors per usual. We have all of your blues. These are like violet grays and blue grays. We have some pinks and teal. And then turn it around. Look at all of this. This is probably like, yeah, this is in her hair. Oh, so pretty. There we go. We got uh, 25 colors on her. So not a ton of colors, but to be expected because she doesn't, I mean, the pattern doesn't have a ton of colors. As you can see. It's mostly just a couple of blues, a couple of lighter blue grays, um, some colors for the stars, and then her hair. So there's not a lot of colors. It should be fine. All right, that is it for the cross stitching stuff. So if you are headed out, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you want to continue watching to see the diamond painting unboxing, then go ahead and continue and we'll go ahead and get that started right now. We'll start with the accessory. So, there we go, unwrap it first. So I am a big diamond. I'm dropping everything now. I'm a big diamond painter. I took a break from diamond painting um, because I was doing all of those presents for my family and they were really big, like 50 by 70. Um, well, 50 by like 70. Um, so they were really big. I got kind of burnt out on the diamond painting. However, I am getting back into it. Not hardcore, but getting back into it. Um, and I also got my family into it. So my daughter and my son are now diamond painting. So we all have diamond paintings on the go right now. So we have three projects going. And um, I really want to be able to keep the diamonds organized, but not spill. So I saw this accessory and decided I wanted to try it out. So this is like a little binder it's like a vinyl binder and it's like like a lavender color so it's got like some rings in here and it comes with a little snap closure and I saw this and thought oh I can get one of those pencil holders um, with the zip pouch and then um, you know the three rings and I can put that in here and put all of each person's like diamonds in, in them so that way I have this little book but it has like everyone's diamonds in a nice little book and um, when I open up a package of mine I either stack it a uh, package of diamond paintings they're like this little square package if it's not uh, if the kit didn't come with Ziploc bags then that's fine. They come with uh, tear apart pouches. So I normally cut a corner and then I dump them out and I either leave that package opened and put it just sitting upright in like a little container or I, um, I roll it up and put it in a little like Ziploc bag. So that I get from the dollar store, they're like, the Ziploc bags are like this. Very, very tiny. They're like tiny snack size. Um, so those, that way they wouldn't spill, I can put all of them in the Ziploc bags and then put them in the little um, pencil pouch and then put them in here. And I thought that would be really cool. So I'll, as soon as I get um, everyone's organized and put in here, I will um, take a picture and I'll let you guys know what it looks like. All right, last but not least, I dropped it. Ugh. We have another diamond painting. Now I'm not gonna start this diamond painting until I have my other diamond painting um, finished, which is the Harry Potter um, uh, Deathly Hallows diamond painting that I just started the other day. But this one is a uh, 30 by 40. And I'll go ahead and insert a picture of it right here because it's so hard to, I mean, you can't really see the picture of this. So I'll go ahead and insert the picture of it right here. So this one, I, uh, I've i had my eye on a cross stitch that's kind of like this, but then when I saw a 30 by 40 diamond painting, I thought it would be better because it'd be more sparkly. Sparklier. And I just, I'm dropping everything today. Okay, so uh, diamond painting per usual comes with a little kit. It has a tray, a waxing, and a pink pen. Now this will get you by doing your diamond painting. I do prefer to have a light pad. Um, 
a pad that is light. It's like a drafting pad uh, to put my diamond paintings on because then you have the light shining through the canvas and you can see the symbols easier. However, you do not have to have that for a diamond painting. Uh, it's just it's just nice to have. <laughs> you don't have to have it. Uh, you can get by just using this and I have uh, with my very first um, project, my Viking kitty that I did um, way back when. I, I didn't use a light pad at all. I didn't have one. Um, I just used this and that's all I used and it was just fine. Um, but anyway, so keep that in mind if you're just getting into diamond painting. Okay, so then of course here's the canvas. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's gonna look so good on the wall. So there it is. And it has 23 colors, so not a ton. And not a, a bunch of bulk color either. I mean, you have like small amounts for the background here and here. But other than that, it's just kind of like light confetti or medium bulk color. I guess most of the bulk is just the background. It does have the sparkly canvas, which I prefer. Again, this is so hard to show you guys. I wish I could show you better. Yeah, I can't show you. I wish it would show up on camera, but it's a sparkly um, canvas so that it's glitter. And I like how they have the key up here and then they have the key down here. So no matter what, way your canvas is you can always see a key um canvas feels pretty sturdy it's not fraying anywhere um that clear plastic looks good um it's not hardcore wrinkled i don't see any of the glue like coming up for me to cut or anything looks pretty good so there's the canvas again i'm not going to start this until i finish the one diamond painting i'm doing we already have three going between the family. I don't need like another four or five or ten. <laughs> Not like my cross stitching, which I can easily put away. All right, on to the diamonds. <gasps> These diamonds come in the Ziploc bags. Yes. So I love it when they come in the Ziploc bags. Because they're so much easier to keep them organized and clean and nothing spilling. Okay, let me see if I can get these all out. There we go. Okay, so here's the Ziploc bags I was just talking about. They're nice, neat. They have the number on there for you. Um, these are actually bigger bags than I'm used to seeing, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> and this is a round kit. Um, I, I prefer the look of square, but I, I prefer to stitch or poke <laughs> the... Um, the circle ones it's just easier if the kids want to help me so we got some an orange i'm gonna show you a couple of colors at a time here so we got yellow purple gray green very pretty colors here's a background color this 10 and 7. Teals, blues and pink. And some more purples and blues. Very pretty. It looks like they gave me plenty of, of dots, or jewels, gems, whatever, diamonds, whatever you want to call them. I don't know the proper term. It looks like there's going to be plenty in here for me to finish everything, so. And there we go. Put everything back away so it doesn't get lost. All right, that is it for the unboxing for One Day Saving. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, One Day Saving, for sending these over uh, to me to do an unboxing for you. I appreciate you as well. Again, I will put all of the product details in the, in the description box down below, along with the coupon code and the link to the website in case you wanna go check them out. Um, if you have any questions, send me a comment or send me a message on Instagram. I would be happy to talk to any, any of you, all of you. Uh, I like hanging out and talking. Um, yeah.
That's it. Thank you all so much for joining me. Stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.